you've been playing Halo Infinite though, I saw. Yeah, I've been playing it. I have a pretty uh uh yeah, I've been playing it. <laughs> I've been playing Halo Infinite. <laughs> you have a complicated relationship with the game? I do have a very complicated relationship with Halo Infinite, and uh my opinion of it compared to my friends is maybe a bit more positive than them, but I certainly have uh, a ton of issues with the game. Oh yeah. yeah. I, f- I mean, I'm the, I'm the same way. I mean, obvi- obviously I'm a massive Halo dude. Halo Infinite, I think that everything besides the gameplay is bad. That's my opinion. I think the gameplay That's itself fair. is great. And then and, and, and like me- navigating menus, like the shop. The, the menu system's horrible. Menu yeah. system's horrible. It's, it's um, all crap besides the, g- I mean, the gameplay, I know people are like desync, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, okay. To a degree, I get that. Those are, those are bugs that are fairly annoying. But to me, the gameplay loop, just of like big team battle, that's just fucking rad. That just that just plays. That's just fun. That's just like a, 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 a yeah. B- B- big team battle is not my main thing. Uh, big team battle certainly lacks a lot of content too. If you're a big oh, fan yeah. of it. it, has the least amount of maps, the oh, yeah. like worst game modes. Um, oh, yeah. But like, I do enjoy the gameplay of Halo Infinite a lot. The only issues I have with the gameplay really is. Um, and maybe this is a bit nitpicky, but like player collision is an interesting thing where like um, it, it sounds like a really nitpicky thing off the top. Yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, you don't get to jump on your friend's head and yeah. everything. But yeah. like, I do think that's a little bit important for Halo gameplay. It but is, yeah. more importantly, it affects like the melee system. Right. So when two mm-hmm. players are, like walking mm-hmm. towards each other, it like it's totally possible to assassinate someone from behind while facing them in the mm-hmm. front yeah. by walking through them yeah. and hitting like yeah. it just it just doesn't really quite make sense i think player collisions a big one um the plasma pistol is just Trash. not worth Un- your time unusable. it's yeah yeah um there's a couple other things but that's that's really only it i enjoy how the guns work and the movement system and the maps like, yeah they're all yeah. pretty good but some stuff is just unacceptable some stuff is Halo just unacceptable Infinite. and yeah. i agree with that right but the I can still hop on with the boys and ha- have an enjoyable time. And I feel like, I mean, maybe, maybe I'm the, I'm, a, I'm, I probably am the, um, the, uh, minority in that, I guess, because the game's obviously the, the player base is dropping off, but I just, I don't know. That shit pisses me off. I'm like, in like my brother, he's a competitive halo reach player. My younger brother, right? Whoa. Uh, don't mess with him. He, Play a siren really quick. Big, uh, <laughs> big, big name alert. Don't need a name drop yeah. like that. Um, he, so he shits on Halo uh, Infinite. For, he just calls it a bad game, just like flat out. And he's, I mean, he's, frankly, he's used to Bungie. It's interesting because Halo Reach is like one of the most like divergent Halo games know, that exists. I know. That's kind of what I, that's what I, that's what I was telling him. And he, he was like, everybody that likes it now is going to dislike it in a month. When the first game, when the like, beta dropped, when it like first came out, which ended up kind of happening. And then obviously over time, people are just starting to shit on it because of you know, the lack of content updates. But um, I still play it and enjoy it. And he'll walk in my room and just tell me to stop. <laughs> but he, he made an argument that pissed me off about Halo. And it's because it's incorrect. He was like, the only people that are still playing are competitive players. And I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? No, that's just incorrect. No. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, he's like, because they play. If for anything, one. it's the opposite. And that's what I said. He was like, it's just, you know, longevity, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? How does that make any sense? And um, his, his point was that like, obviously a competitive player is going to keep playing the game to get better at the game or whatever. Some, some dumb argument like that. And I'm like, no, the casual player is going to enjoy it because it's going to be more, more likely to be spaced out. You know what I mean? I haven't played infinite in like a week in some change. I'm going to, I might play it tomorrow. I, I, you know, I, I'm still playing it though. I'm still like, and my first, do my first battle pass isn't even done. I haven't even finished my first battle pass. I mean, mm. I'm, I'm just taking, I'm just taking my time with it. I'm, I, I'm, I'm yeah, it's, still enjoying it with, with, with the lack of content and how far, paced out they are it's definitely one of those games like you get into playing for like a week to a month and then fall off playing yeah. for yeah. another like two months and then get back into it it goes in cycles and I, it, it's really the main thing that was disappointing for me too is like you know i i suppose the split screen is whatever but the forge not being there at launch i get it's supposed to be a larger forge system but to me like my best my favorite memories in halo were always like community creations and then the biggest problem this game has is a lack of content and in the modern era of halo the 343 series of halo games they've never not a single one of them has launched with proper like capabilities of user created content which is what most halo fans i think like enjoy um and again i get that it's taking a long time but to me like 
if a Halo game was done correctly and launched with a proper platform for user created content, I don't think you would have this. Even if those problems exist, I think they would be like the, the opposite of multiplied, divided by like yeah hundred. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, the uh, as soon as the custom games browser came out for MCC, I, that's all I was doing. I don't. I, yeah, but I then was, like everyone's forgotten about, and not everyone's forgotten about MCC. Um, yeah, but like the mainstream audience is now lost on that aspect of the game. Yeah. And it's unfortunate too, because I think people played MCC as like a, as like a, um, like a gateway into infinite waiting for infinite to come out, expecting like this, like this massive content. And to a degree I did that. I mean, I I obviously I just like the games, you know, but uh, to a degree I did too. I was like, Oh dude, let's let's, like, we're going to play a fuck ton of halo infinite. So let's play a fuck ton of MCC. Just fuck around in custom games browser. And then you can't do custom games. I mean, you can, I guess in infinite, but it's really bare bones. You can't obviously can't do forge. Um, And then the co-op campaign, which is probably my favorite part, favorite part of halo as a series is not there. And it's not going to, it keeps getting delayed. I love Halo Infinite. I love the gameplay loop of Halo Infinite, but I just wish that I, I mean, I, I two maps for season two, dude, Fortnite. I'm just going to say it. And I hate, I hate making this, this, <laughs> this parallel. I played a lot of Fortnite in 2017 to 2018. They were pumping out updates every fucking week. And obviously probably much, a much, I don't know, but probably much bigger company. I know there was, there was management hell allegedly at, at three, four, three totally get that and i could but like there there has to be a workflow issue if for a a company like epic games can pump out weekly up like basically weekly updates to fortnite and a company like 343 that is backed by microsoft can't 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 not even user content every week that has like skins or something in it like that either right and the, the only thing that's like rotating weekly is the cash shop which is like, okay, if I want to be a whale, I can spend the money. I mean, It'd I have a Halo Infinite Battle Pass whale. Right. Yeah. I mean, totally crash the Halo <laughs> Infinite uh, user economy. I, I mean, I've bought like, I think maybe five things on the shop ever. Like, and uh, uh, so the thing that they're updating weekly, I'm not even using, you know, because I mean, I'm not going to. It's, it's, well, it's, bu- you didn't download the game to buy stuff. Exactly. It's not why you decided to play the game. Right. I think there's a massive disconnect between the people actually developing like the game, quote unquote, like everything surrounding like gameplay and like um, all, all of that style of direction. And then the people who are in charge of like platforming and like marketing the game, yeah. you know, I, I have a funny feeling that those people like, first of all, whoever designs their infrastructure sucks. Cause they, they, every time a new halo game gets released, it always just is broken. You know what I mean? Like yeah, whoever's QAing, whoever's mm-hmm. QAing that is like the worst in the business. Like yeah. I do think that like in the newer games, I don't know if I care for some of the armor designs and options that they have. Like, so some of it just looks kind of lame. Like I still, to this day, can't find a shoulder piece that like looks cool without like finding and buying an entire armor set in the store. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little upsetting. Yeah. I dude, I was so excited when I saw the fracture 10, right? Event announcement. And I saw cause like I have a meme in all of my, and I like every game I play, if I, if there's any sort of character customization, I, I, I go with a ninja. Just because I, I, I watched Naruto growing up. It's just it's like a meme that I've just continued. And I'm like, oh, that's sick. It's like a samurai. Close enough. Would you and, buy a Naruto run emote for Halo yes, Infinite? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Would you put um, on cat ears in, in Naruto run dude, through a big team battle <laughs> with an energy have, sword? Dude, yeah, <laughs> no, dude. It's unfortunate because I didn't know. This was before, like, I don't, I don't, maybe I just wasn't privy to it. But the, like, there's no cross core customization. Which to me is oh, yeah, yeah. still so fucking supposedly stupid. I've heard they're phasing yeah, they're that out. Out. I don't yeah. know how that works though. Yeah, like it's, it's gonna be know. weird. Uh, but a fracture Tenrai, I was like, dude, that's so hype. Like my favorite, my favorite armor in all of Halo is Mark V. And I'm like, I'm throwing Mark V on like a like a cool like suit of uh like a samurai armor and maybe have like some sort of like uh like fur or something around. I'm like, that looks so rad in my head, and then you just can't. Yeah. So now I'm just like a, a Mark Five, Mark Five Zeta, which is just like a hamburger Mark Five. I'm also Mark Five, Mark Five yeah. Zeta right now. Yeah. yeah. And I have fucking cat ears and uh, and and. Yeah. And well, I'm, I'm without the cat arms. ears, but I hear you, dude. The, the cat ears. <laughs> I, I saw that and I'm like, that's fucking goofy. I am buying that and I bought it immediately. 